Welcome, everybody, to the Saturday Night Movies podcast, where friends get together to discuss and trash and talk about the movie of the week. Today is Sunday, which means we're here to discuss Friday's movie roulette. And you had the pleasure of spinning. I did. What did you land on? I landed on suspense thriller Mm -hmm. and documentary, and it was not an easy pick trying to find (laughs) this and i was almost gonna do it but like this other movie i was gonna pick but it didn't like the genres didn't quite keep lining up um and i was so i found one and i picked the lovers and is it despots i think i i said it as despots despots I don't even know what a despot is. I felt illiterate when I was telling my mom what it was. So I was like, it's called The Lovers and the Despot. (laughs) And I'm like, I don't know what a despot is. Is that what they call For our viewers who may not know what it means. (laughs) A despot is a ruler or other person who holds absolute power. Typically one who exercises it in a cruel or oppressive way. And it is despot. Despot. Because like the Google lady. Despot. Okay. Despot. And then they have a picture of the queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Like, no, it's because it says monarchy. I know, but it's it's interesting. Whatever. <laughs> um, so I picked this movie because it said that it was um, a thriller slash documentary. So I was like, okay, maybe we'll be on the edge of our seats. We weren't, <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 so I went in with the description. Cause like, basically it, it is the story of a famous Korean, a South Korean actress and director, husband, couple duo, who husband, couple, <laughs> husband, wife, whatever. <laughs> uh, like, okay, 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 tape street, tape street, tape street. <laughs> street. Um, so we, uh, things that matter. <laughs> So they they were eventually later on kidnapped by um, Kim Jong Il. Well, because you have Kim Il Kim Il Jung, Kim Jong Il. No, Kim Il Sung. Oh, Sung. Okay, I thought that was a J. That was a grandpa. So the grandpa who was more like uh, um, Mr. Meany. He had more emotion. Yeah, like he was like he was a very politician. Kim Il Sung. um, Now the guy that we were introduced to was kim jong il yep. and the guy that we that we know today who rules north korea is kim jong un mm-hmm. now kim jong il <laughs> kidnapped well he claimed that his staff kidnapped well, these he two do it himself. well i know but that they but they whatever so they got kidnapped from mm-hmm. south korea and they were there to quote unquote make their movie industry rival and be better than the South Koreans and also the West. The West. We're gonna dominate the West. Basically. It's gonna be North Korea, yay! World Woo-hoo. domination through great movies. Yes. <laughs> so they kidnapped um, the actresses Choi Un Yi. Okay. All these I wrote it down. No, I know, I know. I wrote it down. If anyone okay. needs to, well, I don't want to show my number yet. And then the director. Ex husband is Shin Shin Sang Ook. And because I don't Shin think it's okay. So we got Shin and Choi. Shin and Choi. Well, I think her name or might be Choi Eun. Um. I think her name is <laughs> I don't know. I just want to kind of get it very basic and simple. Okay, so fine. I know Choi and Shin. Choi and Shin were, we're kidnapped. kidnapped by Il. <laughs> and okay, so anyway, and then it, it's about their time living there separate and then together and then their escape to get asylum in the united states in the 80s um that's basically the premise of the documentary i went in with the the description and we saw i watched the trailer just to kind of make sure i went in at a solid six what did you guys hey kelly what you guys go into i went in at an eight you went into eight Mm -hmm. at an an eight because it seemed interesting like the trailer was good the the uh the story it seemed like okay this is kind of cool they just got kidnapped maybe it's going to be like 
we're going to see a lot of how they escaped or how they planned their escape. Maybe there's going to be a lot of exciting, you know, this is a thriller now. So maybe Big we're going to get documentary thriller. <laughs> maybe we're going to get some, some cool, you know, history of, of, of that. So I went yeah. in at it. Hey, I was, I was expecting some, some big things. All right, I have to, I have to agree with Elmer. I went in at like probably around like a 7.58 because the whole, like, I love kidnapping scenarios. Mm -hmm. Um, in movies and in sadly real life, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm you're still here. I'm gonna need you to fix that. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to be kidnapped in like five point seconds. There you um, go. So, <laughs> so yeah, I went into it about like a seven and a half, eight because I like the idea of like here's this like. Korean actress who like everyone knows her and she's kidnapped by the doughboy, like ill or whatever his name is, some jong <laughs> ill or suit or whatever. Kim Jong il. Yeah. Kim yeah. Jong il. What was the new one? Where my mom the one we him... have now is Kim Jong un. Okay, my mom calls him the Pillsbury Doughboy. Because he's I mean, like the only yeah. fat Korean in Korea. We have you have Soon Il Un. Huh? Oh yeah, Soon. so you have Kim Il Soon. Yeah, so Sung Il Un. It sounds like a, like a, what is it? Like when you're. Like scales? Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like la, piano la, la, scales? <laughs> so la, 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 la. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So anyway, that's why I'm undercover if anyone's, if anyone's <laughs> wondering. So just in case, you know, we're talking about North Korea, I'm a construction worker. <laughs> Who <laughs> I'm, happens I, to have I'm, his name on screen? I'm not that guy. <laughs> I'm <laughs> filling in. He's going. <laughs> He's so, gonna be trying to break everyone out of North Korea with I, his construction. I, I just wish I had like the glasses with the nose and the mustache. Can uh, you have? I can him. you have Andy's little rock hammer to get, yeah. get you out of shake, shake? All right, are you and ready you to need, stuff? Um, also a construction hat. I had one. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> I don't know. You already count us down, girl. Yes. In. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Grab your numbers. In. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish I knew how to count in Korean. <laughs> Un, do, dwa. <laughs> Show your numbers. It's French. It's a foreign language. Wow. <laughs> Four, five, six. Four, five, and six. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So, Elmer, you gave it a five. Lisa gave it a six. Yes. I gave it a four because it just, I wanted more kidnapping <laughs> and less. Katie's corner. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted more kidnapping and less just like, her talking like this was actually not scary at all because to me it really like felt like she was kidnapped that in itself is terrifying and she's thinking she's gonna die and then she meets the like the president or whoever the fuck is the korean dude um and he's just like he's a supreme thanks for coming. Oh, he's the god of that because he is a god to them literally yeah. he they um, actually believe he's like an incarnate god and I, mean, I remember the what they person act, like, said was like, and I actually didn't believe he uh, used the bathroom. And I'm like, yeah. are you guys stupid? They still think that with the, the one that's there now. Yes. But <laughs> so we got that story. But then when she was like given a house, she was all talking about how she liked to garden and she had this full blown garden. And she got this whole house to herself. And then she would just sit there in her room and like just scream. And well, I'm like, she would scream at the mountains because if she oh. screamed there, she probably would have gotten beaten. So she would go on hikes and then she'd scream out to the wilderness. I mean, I mean, you you have to figure though that if you're in a situation like that, even even though you're kidnapped, you don't want to be there. You have to find, I guess, a way to fill time. And also, while too, maybe while you're to, plotting, you like, have to keep the illusion that you um, are supportive of the North Koreans because she had to read a ton of books. And and understand communism. Hold understand. on, I have a Katie's corner scenario that's probably going to meet this star. I would agree. If, <laughs> if Katie was kidnapped by the North Koreans, and you being the author, you're forced to read the North Koreans' books, all these and manifestos. Books. Well, I would how be would like, you review it. I would be like, this book gets one star and because the plot just sucks. And <laughs> she get murdered. Was then, it worth it? <laughs> not worth the read <laughs> <laughs> she's like okay i'm done i'm done i'd make him cry <laughs> um 
<laughs> and then everybody would have to be forced to cry with them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Now I'm just picturing it. That's, it's it's crazy. I mean, it's, I know we joke about it, you know, it's, it's crazy in, that in reality, it's, it's crazy that that exists, that there's people trapped in that land where it's like, you don't know anything else. You just know, you know, the people that were born there, or maybe even the people that remember a time before it. Um, and they're just stuck. And it's like, you can't do anything. And when you read these stories of the lengths that people go to, to just try to escape and, you know, going through like minefields and things like that, like, that's crazy that that, you know, you know, Starvation. we live in a world where that's actually going on. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I say that a six, I thought about going lower, but I still really gen for me. I, I like, I like the story. I liked how they, they told the story. I do wish that we did have more um, involvement of the escape and how did they get there and all that stuff. Um, that's why I didn't go up any they higher. Didn't do this documentary sooner, like when Shin was still alive and like when the story was still fresh in people's mind. Cause I asked my mom, I was like, do you remember this? Because it, cause she was, she broke free. I think only like a few months before I was even born. She's like, I don't remember hearing anything about this. And then she's like, but then again, I never really watched the news back then. Cause I was too busy taking care of kids. Probably. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised this was never made into an actual movie. No, well, that would be actually cool, but they would Hollywood ties the fuck out of it because it would be boring yeah. if they didn't, because let's, let, let's remember, She's kidnapped, given a house and a garden. She gets mm -hmm. to do whatever the fuck she wants, basically, as long as like she's being uh what's the word? Subordinate. Complacent. Not complacent. Um, and she's listening and everything like that. And then we have Shin who's like, I'm gonna go find my wife. And then he gets kidnapped by him, but he, when he tries to escape, the dude throws him in jail for five fucking years. And I'm sitting here like, hold up. So you're telling me you kidnap both of these people to make all the movies. And instead of making all the movies, you threw the husband in jail for five years and gave that bitch a house. Well, to be uh, to be <laughs> true, but the timeline is off a bit. So she was kidnapped for at least a year or two before he was kidnapped. And the thing is, people still don't know that or they still don't trust to this day his story. They think that he was he actually did. Tr uh, go against South Korea because he could make more of a name for himself over there. So do you think she was legitimately kidnapped? No, she was. No one's questioned her. Like I said, they were not together because they were divorced. Because remember, he cheated on her. He got it with a new woman who was younger yeah, and all this shit. Had, yeah, had a new baby. Um, so when, so she was already there, at least I think it was, they said it was like between, like, I think it was like a two years already. Then he was kidnapped and then he was there being interrogated and then he actually escaped so he wasn't in jail yet so he escaped and then he got so tired he fell asleep on top of a train and his legs dangled over the conductor's window and that's how he got caught so then that was his punishment obviously so he, like his total time was five years but I think he was in there like two or three years and then he was let out. Um, and then at that party that he put together, that's when she saw him because she didn't even know he was there. Which is that party. It, shows, I saw a ghost. It, it kind of shows though that he wasn't actually like, you know, for those that say he went willingly, why then when she saw him, she was like, oh, he looks so thin. Like, yeah, like, he was literally there. Yeah. So I mean, if he's living good, why would he be so skinny and, and looking like he's been captured? Yeah. In the one picture, it literally looked like someone like recently punched him in the face because one of his eyes and like forehead area was all bruised up. Yeah. And I'm just thinking, like, yeah, why would a guy willingly go somewhere to go hang out in like a North Korean prison and get like abused and yeah. starved? Because he kept asking about his wife like in the beginning before he tried escaping and then they were trying to force the the ideology down him and he's like no where's my wife and then eventually he got you he know the game. Beat, he got beaten into submission um and then he was brought into that party and then she because she had no idea so she 
yes, she was living a lot better than he was. Um, but she didn't know until that part. I mean, imagine, you know, you've been there for five years total mm -hmm. or whatever. And then he just shows up, you know, it's crazy. And Did you guys think it was crazy that neither one of them spoke about their children? <laughs> I brought that up. I brought that up. I was like, so you're telling me that you were worried about your friends. You were worried about well, she your was family. the only one that did eventually. Like first she mentioned like her friends and stuff, but then she did mention her children. Like when she would scream at the mountains. Well, the she, only thing to be I fair, remember, she did mention yeah. her children. Well, the only thing I remember her is she like sent a videotape to her sister saying like, take care of the kids. They're still young. And I'm like, do you like expect like seven year olds to go out and get a job and fend for themselves? Like, I think I wanted to North she was, Korea. <laughs> I <laughs> think what she, matter. <laughs> I think what she was worried about was uh, um, them being put into foster care. You know what I mean, like the family abandoning them or something. Um, because that whole mission, just to get the recorded audio tapes to to the family members, was like a feat in themselves. Because they had to get that out of North Korea. You know, like, and, and to say, like, this is because one of the family members didn't believe that this was her. But then when the sister heard it, she's like, oh, my God, that's my sister. But she sounds like that's different. Cra yeah, that's crazy that she hadn't heard her for so long that it was like, I don't even recognize my sister. But then the more she spoke and the more she listened, it was like, wait a minute, that is, that is her. I just felt bad for the kids because they were adopted by these two, like, actors who were like high profile then it comes out that shin was just a loser and basically like gambled all their money away and when they were sitting in the running. snow like did you have that picture when the when the tax or not the gangsters came for their money and yeah they there they were surrounded our house sitting in the snow waiting for us to come out like you are that desperate for money that your ass is sitting in snow just sitting outside like like a <laughs> like a like a dog you know yeah and i'm just like okay so they're gonna get their lives back on track things are gonna be better eventually they have to be but then your mother goes missing your father goes missing and now you're orphans again because i mean for all they knew they were dead like yeah if they owed people money, it could have been easily like how the mob handled people out here. They give you like cement boots and throw you out in the river. I mean, yeah. But at the same time, we have to remember that they, the kids did, like the children talked about that they knew that they were still alive at a certain point because the South Koreans picked up the pictures that were being publicized. Oh yeah, and then like they in were, the paper, right? And yeah, and then and the news at the time were were defame. Um, is it defaming them, saying that they're traitors to mm -hmm. South okay, Korea? Yeah. You know, they they willingly went there. Um, they you know they're treasonous, but at least they knew they were alive. And but then, who would actually willingly want to go to North Korea? Like, an honest question. And this Robin, Robin. He goes. He's friends with the dictator. Oh my God! Could you imagine him getting kidnapped? <laughs> well, he's not gonna get kidnapped because they're they're buddies. Like, do no, they play they basketball play. together? <laughs> Probably, because he's like uh, the the dictator. He's like a big fan of like American sports and <clears throat> American culture. Now I'm like, literally just picturing him. He's like, we need to kidnap all the sportsmen. <laughs> and then he just starts his own Korean like football team, but there's not one Korean on it. You will. <laughs> what if he injects them with Korean blood to then say you're Korean now? And they get. What if they get the um, surgery that Robert Downey Jr. got in um, oh Tropic Thunder? You are now Korean. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> so yeah, they're friends. How is he friends with him though? I don't understand. I don't know how that friendship started. I just know of it. <laughs> what if he kidnapped Dennis Rodman's like family? He's like, you come see me and I, I let you see them. <laughs> I wonder if um, the government ever tried to get Dennis Rodman to be like a spy. Like 
we know you already go in there. We know you've developed this relationship with him. We need to use you in order. I need you to, to, to I mean, plant something in his coffee or his tea and and what what is know, this the, the like what was it, the interview take, take him out for us the interview well with, with seth rogan you think this stuff doesn't happen in real life but i'm just saying oh well, hey listen they got an asset already in north korea they you would probably use you know, all i'm thinking of is it's going to be like a comedy spy movie starring dennis rodman and it's not going to be a it's like we're going to we're going to give you this basketball and it has explosives in it. <laughs> so the second that you bounce it, it's going to kill everybody in the room. I wouldn't be surprised if someone has actually put this forward in writing and then eventually they got to get the little black marker and just start, you know, censoring everything. It's true. How is and this I canceled? This is, this stuff happens. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, uh, or we're just going to be like shut down in North Korea and like <laughs> we'll have our faces on billboards with like a giant red circle and a slash through it. We find their family, we take them, we bring to North Korea, and we kill. You guys should have been wearing <laughs> outfits today, then. Yeah, right? <laughs> you screwed up. Well, I mean, like the whole like. <laughs> this is my camouflage black shirt. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't you know she normally wears like you know? And look, a different background. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Jong Un is gonna have you rapping panda for the rest of your life. Panda, 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 panda. panda. <laughs> Lisa went into hiding. She is now wearing her sheet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fashionable ghost. Uh, She's a fancy ghost. <laughs> The fanciest, but um, like no, there's the movie, the nice interview. Person. You don't remember the movie, the interview that came out a couple, a few years ago with Seth Rogen and what's his face? Oh, okay. uh, I don't remember that. I was gonna say Willem Dafoe, but it's that's not William Dafoe. It was uh, Franco. Yeah. James Franco. Um, okay, so where... Kelly said he and Rodman were boofing each other. Is that sexual? <laughs> Sounds it. <laughs> they were well, boofing, 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 boofing each other. Boop. The only time I've ever heard boof, the <laughs> word takes, boof. Well, tell the story. Tell the story. <laughs> I think he was he. I, I had a friend. I believe the context of it was he was trying to give me an idea for a movie. No, he was explaining no? what boofing was. I could no, I could have sworn that okay. it, it was about a movie poster, and the movie wow. was called Boofed. Oh yes, and, yes, yes. And, and <laughs> to to him, the term boofed or boofing. Was to put something up your butt because that's what you do like in jail. Prison. Oh, you she boof. said. She oh, said, okay. Yes, it was okay. I was like, I've never, I've never heard of. That's anything. where he's going to implant that the basketball. Okay, so Dennis, we need you to put it on your dick, use it as a cock ring, and go for gold. Take one for the team. Hit that prostate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to the interview. So the interview, um, it was it was a it was a comedy movie, and the whole premise was they they, they were journalists and and a producer going over to North Korea, um, to interview the uh, the Kim Jong Un, and but the government found out or something like that, and then they wanted them exactly what he's saying. We're gonna need you to go over there and kill him. So there's this whole entire thing. Well, Korea, they end up friends with <laughs> Korea, like North Korea found out, and they supposedly they hacked into the studio um, internet, like their 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 files, and didn't they leak it? They leaked like emails and stuff. Emails, movies that were coming out, like like a lot oh, of sensitive wow. stuff and then the studio had no choice but to just release it for free yeah because they eventually wanted they were like boycotting the movie yeah and it was a big deal and then i remember like the big like scare on the internet was like if you if 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 you watch it korea north korea is going to know your ip address and they're going to come and get you Who i is remember he, krampus <laughs> it was on facebook like you know how Stupid people, I'm sorry. Keep the fire You going. are stupid. When people I vaguely share, remember it. Like when people share those mass long ass um, posts, those things on their things, I do not give consent to Facebook 
to share my intellectual property, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, just being on the site it. is giving them permission because you have to check. Okay, I agree I know, to know, But it's just so like when you see people sharing it, I'm like, really? So then that was that fear mongering that Kim is gonna come and like kill you, kill your family. It's like it's like that guy who is like, you know, they're raping everybody up in here. Like hide your crazy. kids, hide your wife, hide your husband. He is crazy. Hide your he is brother. crazy. Yes, I I know <laughs> he, he's do crazy. Do you remember seeing that where like they poison? He he had his, his brother, brother right? poisoned at uncle? an airport. Like was it brother they, or uncle? No, I was his his uncle, he was the one he, he fed one of his uncles no, to no. like dogs. I like, think it was his brother. We got a fact check. Okay. Keep it was going. definitely a relative, either a brother or an uncle was at an airport and then he got two people um um two women they they claimed that they were told that it was going to be part of a prank for some kind of TV show, but they went behind him and they put uh, this thing in his face, like this cloth, and it had a poison okay, on go. it. That so when assassination. He, when, on, he, when he breathed it in, it actually so took like maybe 20 minutes on to kill him. On, on February 13th, almost close, 2017, Jim Kim Jong Nam died after being exposed to VX nerve agent at Kalua Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia. It was widely believed that he was killed on orders of his half brother Kim Jong Un, and then, yeah. let's see. Uh, and they have like the video yeah. of the airport footage where like it happened, and then he went to like police officials and told them, and then he like, died. He didn't, he didn't last long. Yeah, he just wait. I mean, but I now, die, but. did what happened to the girls? Because if they thought they, it was got a, they got arrested, and then they eventually were claiming that. They didn't know because the person that approached them and told them to do it, they told them under the guise that they were going to be part of like this prank show, that it was just a prank that they were pulling on a person. And they, oh, didn't, they didn't know it was the. They didn't know that they were actually killing this guy. To look like they just thought it was Ashton just like a prank. Wait, Kutcher. wait, wait. But they didn't, they didn't know that he was the brother to like this dictator they, well they claim they didn't know they claim that they just were told hey this is a guy you got to do this to it's part of a show and they went along with it and they did it and the guy died I'm and they sorry, were eventually unless, released unless i see like a video camera and i'm signing my name on a contract i'm not putting anything over anyone's face because that's the first thing i think of is what if this is a prank on me and i'm actually killing someone and i'm going to be going to jail for the rest of my life mm. could you imagine if they like were sentenced to death like well they were eventually thinking. released but yeah but still it sucks and now they have yeah, to live with that guy, yeah. like oh, yeah you're <laughs> my god i'm just picturing <laughs> they have grandkids yeah you remember when that time like that guy came up to us in the airport and was like yo we want to pull a prank can you go put this over this person's face and then you kill them <laughs> i would imagine that would be something they tell their kids never to do going forward like if anyone ever tells you to do something and it's part of a show don't do it i don't care and look up the thing about I am. No, I am. him. So, so the dogs. Okay. So um, it's still under speculation. So it's not completely like, you know, confirmed. But it was the uncle. So um, it was. Is there a picture? Uh, the uncle? The picture of him in the thing? No, I don't have a picture. But basically the that he had his uncle executed by stripping him naked and feeding him to 120 hungry dogs. Mm. The, first, the story was first reported by a minor Hong Kong outlet picked up by Singaporean newspaper. I mean, they, they still don't know if it's true or not, but I mean, have, I has anyone I seen the uncle? It. Well, I think, I think <laughs> the, the killing, uncle. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I don't know, but yeah uh that's a terrible way to but go. i mean that's but if right you think about it that's burning. but that's like they so the the grand the, the the granddad the original um supreme leader kim il sung um he ruled from 1948 to 1994. that was when we first saw the scene of everybody wailing um <laughs> 
those <laughs> criers, I'm like, give them an Oscar. Or were they just so scared they were going to disappear in the night if they weren't like acting like. What I, what I didn't understand was when they were describing the people crying. Did it did it seem like they said if people didn't cry, they were executed or if it seemed as both. if their crying was no, fake, both. Both. they were executed. Yeah, both. they wanted they wanted everybody to be genuinely upset. I mean, honestly, if we think about it, it's basically like they said that he wasn't as in like insane as the other two because he was super charismatic. The supreme leader that we that the story focuses on, um, ill, he emotionless and dead inside. Yeah, because he 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 didn't have a lot of like communication with other kids because I guess apparently he didn't play well with others. Well, and no, so, no, no. They said they didn't trust other kids, so he was only able to play with like three trusted children. Uh, see, I thought it was that like he was like you know, he had outbursts and things like that. So then they just instead of having him in a big group, they secluded. But he was secluded. Yeah. And so he didn't have a lot of um, forms of communication. Now with the guy today, um, Un, he he's like a combination of both, like. He's super crazy. I'm just about it. The man's nuts. But hold on. <laughs> and he the eats the man. <laughs> so the man is nuts. <laughs> is there a secret Korean under there? <laughs> no, I'm hiding my voice. <laughs> My identity. I'm hiding my you know, like when they do the blur, like like okay, so my face is blurred. And then and then they have um the, the robot the talk. Yeah. <laughs> the, the man is nuts. Or do it very not. very deep. The man is nuts. <laughs> Instead they just put a panda in her spot and oh, the God. panda just starts talking. <laughs> but um but at the same time he's charismatic. Mm -hmm. You know? Um so, so he'll he'll smile while he's stabbing you in the face. Basically, yeah. And where the he's other so one, nice. he was socially awkward. He didn't really know how to like um, communicate with others and things like that. And then he fed off of that thing because they talked about the whole like his toys and I don't know. It was it was a lot. It was interesting that they no one had heard him speak until those until tapes. those tapes. Like they didn't even know what he sounded like. Like so, like, is that how closed off North Korea is? Like, yeah. no one knows anything about what everything really is speculation. You think anyone's delivering dominoes to North Korea? <laughs> not happening. I would Amazon be so would not deliver. No. <laughs> For real, Amazon doesn't dis deliver. This? Oh, you would think that Amazon delivers. I don't <laughs> know. I've never lived in a communist no country. I mean, I'm, I'm sure people are trying to turn like America into a communist country, but. I have no experience living in a communist country. <laughs> and I don't really want to. <laughs> I can't believe I'm Googling this. Yeah, under my Google. <laughs> Wait, well, what is it? The short answer, it? no. No, it doesn't. Wait, oh, it Amazon? A select few products on Amazon can be shipped to North Korea. So where the hell do they get their, like, everything? Their everything bagels? I don't know. No, just everything. Because like, they, because it, it's... Well, they're poor. They don't have money to buy. Well, exactly. Today, so. And the thing is, remember when she said when they went to Russia and they said, even though that is a communist country, it felt more of a free country yeah. because people could still freely roam and shop. Whereas in North Korea, you can't. And I would imagine, especially the guy at the top, he's he's getting his stuff from China, from Russia. Probably. So it's like he doesn't have to worry about I mean, it's, it's, like, Netflix account from China. <laughs> I just remember here, like a long time ago, something came out about North Korea and someone was like, yeah, all their grocery stores you see that are full of food, they're actually fake yeah. stores. Mm -hmm. Like there's fake setups to make it yes. look like it's nice and great there, yeah. but really it's like a Hollywood building front. Yeah, That's because true. like it's once in a blue moon, they will like open their doors for like documentaries and things like that. It's all nothing but a front. So... I was, I, you know, one thing, because I don't remember in school, I probably did or whatever, maybe not, learned exactly, like, how did North and South Korea come about, right? And so I was looking it up, and after World War II ended, 
um, and before it, we got into the Cold War, the, the northern part still kind of fell under the Soviet Union and the southern part fell under the United States of America. And they agreed that the, it's called the 38th parallel. And that's where the division line is. And that's where like the, what is it called? The neutralized zone? Demilitarized zone. Demilitarized zone. That blue building. Yeah, there's like four of them, but only one like people can go in. Wait, and wait, wait, where at? It like divides South Korea and North Korea. There's like a building where, you know, if you're a visitor, you can go in and it's like each side has like one oh, side has the South like Korean guards. guard. The other has the North Korean okay. guard and you can cross, but um I'm gonna share a picture. Would you guys give in, give in the chance? This is a so, Katie's corner. Here we go. Are you Should gonna I sing, sing my song? Yeah, you have to. You can't, you can't yeah, you gotta sing it. it. You gotta sing it. It's officially Katie's corner, and here is my theme song. It's not PC, but it's just me. It's Katie's corner. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, would you guys, given the chance, would you guys ever want to go to North Korea? No. Just to check it out and oh, see no. what's. You really? Would? I would. No. I would. 100. But Killed I want to have, like, like, I wanna have my own military with me. But you're not going to have that. I know. You're that's not no. have that, I'd say so that's I, I would say no. if I had all the setup, but if not, then no. no. See, I would I do would, the I would military want, zone. I would want to go visit Kim Jong Un, see what he got, what he has to offer, talk to him, maybe eat some pizza together. And just tell him to like. She actually might like Katie. <laughs> like we're both basically demons at heart. It's like have you little seen emotion. the tapes? Have you seen? <laughs> oh my god! I make him bounce on a balloon in a bra. <laughs> bounce on it. <laughs> I would just my my biggest hesitation would just be like if I were to go in there. It's like okay, you are in a place where one guy has supreme authority over every law that exists. And so if he deems that you've done anything wrong, regardless of if you think it's wrong or not, you can be thrown in a prison fed for dogs. or fed to well, dogs or well, thrown in a cage. Or That actually happened. Like there was a, an American student that was over in North Korea, something with like he took a poster that he wasn't supposed to take and they caught him and he was thrown in jail. And when he was shipped back to his parents, he was basically brain dead, a vegetable, and he was in jail for a certain amount of time and they were doing like horrible things to him. And all he did was take a poster. Granted, don't steal in other countries, don't break their laws because they're not as nice as Americans. Like you'll get a slap on the wrist over here and they will t execute you with the, firing with the firing squad over there or with how drug traffickers. Like a few years ago, I read an article about it was, I think, two um, Australian people were over in you know, the Asian countries and they were trying to smuggle in, they call it over there ice, but I think it's the same as like meth over here. And they were caught and they were swiftly executed because over there they don't play with drug tra traffickers. Yeah. Like you will die. And, and they even, lost their lives. Even for things <laughs> that like are maybe people here consider like little things like shoplifting. I was I saw a video on Japan and it's like a lot of tourists in Japan go to jail for a long time just for shoplifting because if they arrest you they'll give you minimum 30 days and then after that when they decide whether or not to prosecute you or to let you go they can throw on another 30 days and then you can spend up to a year just in jail and and you can't and, have the, and, you can't, usually, and, the Americans and usually um like um um like there's no legal representation mm -hmm. and if you do have it by chance it's like the cops they're allowed to interrogate you there's no oh my lawyer needs to be present they could just interrogate you and get you to to, to say confess. that even yeah. if you didn't even say you were mistaken for shoplifting they they will get you in it's such an intense interrogation that most people will just confess to it so basically stay home yeah, basically. <laughs> but um, I like Kelly's comment. My luck, they'd never let me leave. Yeah. And well, now I, I'm just picturing, like, with my luck, they'd be like, we don't want you here. <laughs> Can you just leave? <laughs> right. We're, we're tired of pizza and that panda song. <laughs> <Just> stop. <laughs> it's like, you scare us more than oom. <laughs> it's out. Here, I shared the, uh, 
the thing so you can have an idea okay so it's basically like a so it so you have the 38th parallel which you know how like the the globe or the world the, the earth is like in latitude and longitude yeah so it's the 38th parallel line that's where the division is and then you have these blue buildings right and then on one side is north korea the other side is south korea and then you have the middle this is where like trump met with what's his face uh Un. and oh are you really you really met with him yeah. what do you think okay this is i guess i have a corner now or <laughs> my, my theories <laughs> it's a star my, yeah, okay, my, you know, you my have, conspiracy theories I don't you have, have to song. sing the song <laughs> sing the song i don't know the song it's not pc but it's just him it's well, elmer's corner technically yeah. what i'm gonna ask you is it, it's not like not pc it's, <laughs> it's just a, a, a theory because i see them shaking hands right what if a leader pulled the other one into like south korea or into north korea like what what do you they think would shot, happen? and then there'd be a war what really wait so so was trump not allowed to go in north korea and they just well, had he to, was like, invited he, they were, he was invited but that was just for a photo op. So this is the inside oh. of the only room you can go as a tourist. You're only in there for less than like 10 minutes. There are so many rules. You and have you to can, sign waivers. You can sit at that desk. Oh yeah, that one desk because here. Because Conan O'Brien, he did a he did a skit there. Yeah, and then um, so on. It's like super serious. And sometimes once in a blue moon, you got an idiot who's gonna like, you know, try and. They could kill you. That guard. Yeah, they're legally allowed to kill you. So like don't be stupid but you what's know? weird is like what's really stopping what's dmz Demilitarized oh it's like google though um what's really stopping like just citizens from saying like walking besides the military men like are they there 24 7 like they just switch out people yeah. and like so people just can't walk Back and no, forth. you can't you can't take a stroll across North no, Korea. No, and remember the border goes all the way across the country too. That's just the the, the zone, you know. But also, what stops people is brainwashing. You know, when just and when you are born into it, and yeah. this is all you know, and then you have kids who are born into that, you know. And but there are some. I don't know how they escape. Um, there's a couple accounts on YouTube. People can look it up because I don't remember their names, but. Um, they have, uh, they, there's a couple defectors that were able to get asylum in the United States and they talk about it. And I wonder if they ever pictures. fear, like, I wonder if they ever fear, like, are they going to be found? Like, are there going to be crazy? Cause in this documentary, it was like, yeah, this girl, she was a, a Korean spy. She had a daughter with her. So I thought everything was okay. And then boom, you're kidnapped. Mm -hmm. Like, what if you, what if you were you successfully escaped that situation came to here came here to america and then someone is just like having coffee with you and it feels just like you're meeting i friends. thought the same thing honestly i really did i was like what I wouldn't be able to trust anyone <laughs> yeah like but what protection did the united states give her because there's no way yeah. you know especially that early on in the 80s i don't know like it, it's I, I found it just all interesting and just like talking about what keeps people from escaping even if i escaped and my family stayed behind my family's going to prison or they're going to die like anyone related to me if they're not with me when i escape they're probably going to die well that's like um in china the, or was it hong kong wherever the like covid stuff happened there was a doctor who escaped all of that and her family and her husband are back there and she hasn't talked to them they she doesn't know where they are and she was basically telling everyone there is COVID uh, 20, 21, 22, and 23, 24, I think up to like 25. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, if this shit is real, that's fucking scary. Well, you got to remember about the doctor that um, when- He mysteriously died after he said it's COVID. Well, dead. he got COVID. That's how he died. He actually got COVID. And, but before he was going online, he was telling everybody about it and the Chinese government uh, put a smear campaign out and said that he, you know, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Like basically just discredit this man, right? And then when he died, they praised him for all of his hard work during this time. Um, you know, like it, it's, it's all, 
it's a very interesting concept. Like that's going back to this, like that's why I still stayed at a six because ultimately I counted out all my pros and cons and I had four pros and three cons. Like I love the story. Um, I like seeing inside North Korea. I liked hearing his voice. I thought that was interesting. And I liked how they pieced everything together through the use of like the film and the, and the um, pictures that they smuggled. But my cons was definitely was way too slow. It is not a thriller until the last five minutes. Where they're and, like, we ran to the U.S. Embassy. <laughs> exactly. Save. And then cool. the subtitles annoyed the hell out of me that until the end, they they started putting, like, who is talking? And and I'm like, okay, is it is it Shin talking? Is it Ill talking? And they finally did it at the end. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm done. I mean, I, 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 I did like that, too, the fact that, you know, you usually watch documentaries and then, like, the in-between, it's probably like a recreation um or you know like a reenactment with with different actors but here we actually got actual footage i mean there were still some spots where there were reenactments mm -hmm. but for the most part you had like actual footage yeah. of the time and the recordings were cool but like you said like nothing really like happened nothing really happened um when it came time for their escape like it was over and done with like, yeah, like they were easily like, able to sneak out of the room and just run to a taxi. Yeah, like like it, it just felt like I, I I was building this anticipation for that moment, and then when yeah. it finally came, it was like even when they were in the cab and they were like, we looked behind us and there was a another car following us. I was like, okay, it's it, it's good. But then as soon as it was over, I was like, okay, I I've been waiting this entire time to get to this moment, and it's set, all said and done with so fast. So it wasn't a movie that I would be like, or a documentary that I'd be like, oh, okay, this was this was good. And at the same time, I wouldn't say, oh, this sucked. I'm just neutral. That's why. Now, what do you guys not. think happened to those guards that were responsible? Oh, they're like, oh, they're they're dogs. Dogs. Yeah. Probably fed to the dogs. <laughs> That's sad. I mean, well, Ooh. yeah. I was gonna say they should have escaped, but they probably had families. They probably bit down on a cyanide pill. Maybe. <laughs> it was probably a lot easier. Um, well, looking at the ratings though, like they weren't as bad as I thought that they were going to be because I looked at it after the fact. And Internet Movie Database gave it a 6.6, .6. Rotten Tomatoes was a 79%, and Google was an 81. So that's actually not as bad. And I did wonder us watching it on Pluto with all the commercials because the running time is an hour and 38 minutes, but on Pluto it was two hours and one minute. So, so many commercials. It <laughs> was. There was they were a always lot. the same too. Yes. But um we're spoiled. But I but then I thought but then I thought if I just sat and like watched on Netflix, would I have been as enthralled? And I don't think so. But not to I go think down I'm, that far. I think I might have liked it more if there were no commercials in it because it's like makes for a smaller watch time. Mm -hmm. True. And because like every time it would go to commercials, I was like, God damn it, another commercial break. And I would start looking at my phone and then it would come back on and I'd be like, well, now I found something interesting on my phone. So I'd pause it and then like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it was basically, yeah. I, I actually fell asleep twice. I know I had to poke with the stick. <laughs> I was just getting bored. Like I, I fell asleep and. and I oh, my mom and... fell asleep at like four different times. And then she basically said at the end of this, documentary that it all could have been summed up in three minutes it could have and that's what sucks about it that like i said i really did enjoy the story but because i don't think we yeah. need this huge grand history of him as a filmmaker her and him meeting i think the attention should have been more put on, on their escape uh, no on the actual kidnapping like did she find out exactly what went into kidnapping her and then her time spent while being kidnapped his time spent in prison and then how long it took them to escape to plan yeah. things and because it just felt very yeah they didn't really talk like about Austria. like the uh, like who helped them in austria and stuff but what if they are they even still to this day what if they weren't allowed to because that could be classified mm -hmm. i wonder how long they spent afterwards kind of looking, looking over their shoulders, shoulders and yeah. really not like trusting people to a point that maybe they came off like very standoffish or unapproachable. Oh, if, if I was them, 
especially her like i i would be like who are you new person like oh are you sent from north korea to come kidnap me is that like, really your child like imagine <laughs> imagine if she had like a girl scout selling her cookies like, get away from me she took the box and just threw it up <laughs> sophia's fist comes out <laughs> where's the wire <laughs> show me <laughs> i mean she was duped like she, she was she met someone, had her kid to make it believable, and the entire time she was just a spy. Mm. Like I would, like she must have had so much therapy after that because I would never be able to trust anyone. Yeah. And then if I saw someone with a kid, I'd be like, "No, you're a spy. You're a spy. That's <laughs> a little spy. <laughs> I've seen spy kids." Oh my god! I'm just thinking of Vernon. Um, what's his name? Who played Mini Me in? Um... Yeah. Vern Troyer. <laughs> So if Katie wants to remake this movie, she wants it all in little people. It's in no, his corner. <laughs> no, not all in little people. I'm like literally thinking it's like a full on woman and then the child is Vern or like oh, another little it. person. It's like a stunt like, double. Well he died. So he, he did, yeah. You know, but it's just good. fine. Get get like like an like Go like get another Tara one. from Little Women LA. And she's she's actually like in her mid to late thirties, but she's actually playing an eight year old. Like <laughs> it's Penny's first role. Oh, that kid is so adorable. Yeah, but um, I yeah. wish I I was shocked at the end when it was like he he produced the movie Three Ninjas. Yeah, right. <laughs> I loved those movies as yeah. a kid. But what's the theme song? The somebody loves something. Oh, uh, <laughs> Rocky loves Emily. <laughs> That's and you got Tum Tum, the fat one. Uh, and Colt. Colt. And then, I don't I know. I don't remember anything of the movie. I just remember watching it all the time. As you remember the grandpa? Yeah, with the one eye. Uh, the, the Asian the... grandpa? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it was African, Katie. <laughs> Unless they had like a like an area in Africa, like a country in Africa known for their ninja. Their Japanese ninja. No, I'm just picturing Dennis Rodman <laughs> as Asian, ninjas. but still black. Oh, God. No, just get Tiger Woods. <laughs> he needs no, to do something. on his wife's. <laughs> Canceled. He's on his 45th wife. <laughs> okay, so go on. What was I saying? I don't, I don't know. even know what I was saying. Well, we're but... wrapping up anyway. Do you want to talk about our movie yeah. next Friday? Um, I don't remember what our new movie next Friday is. Okay, so like shoes. So next week we are going because they made a huge announcement this week. Um, that the 1997 Roger and Hammerstein's, um, Cinderella, starring Br uh, Brandy, Whitney Houston, Whoopi Goldberg, and a ton of other people, um, from 1997, is finally going to be on Disney Plus. It's one of the movies out of like a, a few other ones that people have been like screaming for and i don't blame them because i'm like when are we going to get the brandy cinderella because that's my favorite cinderella outside of the 1950s cartoon um so that's airing that's going to be live friday and then we're going to come on and talk about it you've never have you, did you see it and katie do you remember watching it like i remember like, i don't know if i saw it but I remember, like, when I looked at the poster, I was like, oh, this is that, like, diversity melting pool where, like, none of the babies could actually exist. Because, like... <laughs> we need that theme song again. <laughs> it's Katie's Corner. Because <laughs> wasn't it, like, the king is Asian, Whoopi no. Goldberg is the queen? No, the king, the, no, the king is white. He, uh... Fuck it, let me just pull up the picture. Because I could have sworn it was just like, it was like something in black makes a completely different. Well, race. yeah, that was on TikTok. Some, some people, somebody did a TikTok on it. Oh, I it went viral. Forever. It's like, I mean, the, the, the point is it doesn't, you don't have to be a certain color to like do it. You know what I mean? I understand that. All right, we're not talking about little, little mermaid, like. I was talking about. I wasn't even looking at Little Mermaid. Uh, bullshit! You know that always pops in your head. So. I didn't I actually didn't even wow, think about it until time. you said it for the first time. I was trying to say. So you have the fairy godmother, is Whitney. Is Whitney Houston? 
you have Brandy. I don't remember his name, but that's the prince, the the stepmom, the step daughter or sisters, and then that's the the little footman guy, um, Jason Alexander, and then you had. Where is Whoopi? Where is Whoopi? Oh, right there. You Where? missed it. Right. It's the oh, there prince. it is. The mic. See, is right yeah, there. a white yeah, man yeah. and a black woman makes an Asian son. How realistic? But it's <laughs> like, not supposed to. I mean, they literally made a pumpkin from like a, a coach out of a pumpkin, and, and but horses. Still, like, it's just like ridiculously so unbelievable. <laughs> is there singing? What is, Does Whitney yes, sing? Yes. Okay. Adopted? No, it's just oh. that it no. Was, they just had an Asian baby. Like no cheating, no scandal. It was just a straight Asian baby. <laughs> 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 like that's what I'm saying is so unbelievable. Now, if it was Brandy coming from them, 100% believable. But does, like, it, ha but does, it, does it have to be believable? Yes, on some Why? level. Why? On some level. Why can't it just be? Why? That can't... would be like literally having a prince and a prince and saying one birth the princess. <laughs> Can you believe that, Lisa? It's just a movie. Yeah, it's just a movie. You always say that all the time. Dreams Calm down. It's just a movie, people. <laughs> well, it's just a movie. It is. It is oh, just yes. a movie. Like no at the yeah. at the end at the end of the day, it is just a movie. I don't yeah. give a shit. It's but magic. It's magic. when you it's look at it, when you look at it critically, mm -hmm. like we do on this show. I mean, I do agree. <laughs> I do agree. Well, critically, of course. You know, critically, of course. But at the agree. end of the day, <laughs> I'm just waiting <laughs> for like the, the two men to pop out a princess and be like, he Well, that's going to be coming in 2024, months. okay? Calm down. We're waiting for that, okay? <laughs> and everyone's going to be gender fluid. At this point, <laughs> you all can choose when you have your period. <laughs> Shut up. People say that. And I'm like, that. But anyway. Um, I mean, yes, in, 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 what's it called? In reality, yeah, of course, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. But the purpose of it was just to have a, a, diver a diverse cast, and it was fun for the time. Okay, see, and that's my point. The point was to have a diverse cast. It now is not genuine. It's literally their only well, goal never genuine, was to represent every single um race i'm surprised that they didn't have an indian child like if we're gonna well, represent that's unbelievable. Race, I, I, I can't honestly i can't argue against i the understand point. i'm not asking you i'm right. making a good point katie's always right she may not be bpc but she's always right because <laughs> <you're not. laughs> you get a lot of facts wrong <laughs> but hey I'm i understand gonna... i understand the 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 practical that's the word the practicality of it uh -huh. but it's just a movie it's like it's how in the, in the wizard the kids get so far that type of thing <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they get murdered and like exactly. raped you know like come on but it's, it's a disney movie, a that movie. <laughs> it was for fun you know and there's nothing wrong with changing it up but yes is it is it awkward and weird yes but at the same time who fucking cares you know if what you show? Don't like you it, would... Don't watch it, except on this one. We have gotta it watch it because we've watched oh, no. after after three sixty five. <laughs> every like all like a series of murdering oh, women. Next, oh, that might be the next Kelly movie. said, "Bollywood yes. Cinder." That would be fun. There is a Beauty and the Beast that was made in, in Israel. Bollywood? No, oh. in Israel. Yeah, I used to watch it. When I was a kid. It was yeah. really good. I mean, like I'm still down to watch it. That's not no, the problem. No, I know you are. Like. I'm gonna watch it either way. It's just I'm just gonna laugh because it's like it's like literally like one of those jokes. <laughs> like you got a white man and a black woman. And they have Where's it. Maury Povich? Like <laughs> we gotta get a DNA test. <laughs> um, what I like, I'm excited to see it at least. I mean, it's a good one, and um, I like Whitney. At the very least, the music is gonna be good. It will be like I mean I, I I broke down and I had to play one of the songs and and I was just so excited um, to watch it because I I love that that version it was just a fun version of it you know oh I was gonna say you and Elmer if you are we want gonna have an have an Asian baby no oh. no you're gonna have an Indian baby we already decided that decided that it's gonna be a cute little mini one 
Um, when did we discuss that? <laughs> yeah. Just right now, I decided this is a dictatorship. We're still in this documentary. Oh, that's right. She's she's Kim Jong Un too. <laughs> I'm his she, friend. She eats she's, all the pizza. <laughs> she's Katie Jung Il. <laughs> Jung Soon. <laughs> she dropped the Kim and she picked up the Katie. <laughs> no, um, you guys need to watch this show on Netflix. I finally caved and watched it. It's called Bridgerton. Oh God. And you will see the reason why it's so unbelievable when you mix up race, because there is literally a black queen in like Jane Austen era. I know, I it's know, so I know funny. about it, but at the same time, I <laughs> like my friends and I, we were talking about last night and what they love about it is that it, it's not about race, like for- But it is. is. <laughs> Because the person behind making the show is, um, what's her face? The girl who made uh, Grey's Anatomy. She wanted to make it a point that black people were the main focus of the show. And that's why now they're getting negative feedback. Because apparently, I didn't read the book. Negative, so. like, I, unless it's people, like, who get upset because, you know, you don't look the type. No, I no. I've heard no, nothing it, it, but positive shit except for people saying, don't waste your time watching it because it's for, like, junior high type things like it's just oh, it's, so it's, stupid. It's, it's not junior high because half well, the there's a lot of sex it, yes it turns into like 50 shades of gray yeah um but uh oh I, you got I, you got score upset i found um no i i i found out that bridgerton was actually based off of a book and when i was like looking up reviews all white cast oh, yeah, it's so Austin. it was made a point to make certain people different and that's what i'm saying is just like it doesn't make it genuine it's just in today's culture and i'm not saying this is bad at all guys so no one twist my shit. um <laughs> i'm just saying poop. in today's Sorry. culture yeah everyone is like demanding diversity 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 and we get things like cinderella white man black man, black woman Asian baby, like I mean, that, that, came out that came out decades. That was in 1990. I know, I know. I'm just. It's not, it's not the same. I'm just using diversity. It. I'm just today. using it as the example. That's what we end up getting, or we end up getting. Bridgerton. One race of each person's race in the entire cast, uh -huh. and it has no genuine reason. Well, it's just because they're. Mark a box off. We got the black person, we got the white person, we got the Mexican, we got like <laughs> the Asian. Yeah, yeah. we got like, the, the, the LGBTQ. And, and since I'm a reader, that is running rampant in the book world and it yeah. doesn't seem genuine. And now we're seeing it play out in movies all over the place. But then if you speak out about it, you're all of a sudden that like person who hates diversity or the racist, really, no, I'm just pointing out the obvious. <laughs> like and you just don't like to hear it like <laughs> i'm not saying diversity is not bad like i mean it's good just but make it's it genuine yeah genuine don't be like i'm just doing this because it's society true. telling me to very true but i am excited to watch <laughs> let's let's just like okay so we just shit it in a little bowl whether it's true or not we still just shit in a little bowl but i'm going to give you a cherry on top <laughs> No, like, like the reason why I'm excited yeah. to watch Cinderella is because I love Whitney Houston's voice. I it, don't remember great. seeing this movie at all, but I remember hearing about it. And I do kind of like Brandy, but didn't she like disappear? Yeah, like, but she's been coming whatever. back, I think. She has a new album coming out. It's like called B7. I don't know oh. what it's about. Um, I mean, Brandy was huge back in the day. And the I last remember, I saw was she was in I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, and then she kind of just disappeared. That was like, what, 20 years ago? <laughs> that was like, awesome. You never hear about her. Well, and she then had a reality Ray show. She had a reality show with Ray J, her brother, for a little bit of time. I remember that. Oh, I don't um, That was during, like, like maybe a year after the sex scandal tape with, with Ray J and Kim. <laughs> and then it, like, boosted Kim's, like, <laughs> life, and then Ray J just kind of, like, fell in the shadows that's sad that's sad you couldn't even get to that fame um but no brandy 
Uh, I remember growing up hearing a story. Do you guys remember on VH1 behind the music? Um, it was like their little mini documentary or something that. like that. So Brandy had one and she talked about how I think it was like a principal or a guidance counselor or something um, told her that she was too ugly to make it in entertainment. That she had a big forehead, her eyes were weird, all sorts of things. And then look at her, like her big career during that time. And I was like, damn, like that, that was something that when I was a kid that reached me because I thought I was ugly and I wouldn't, you know, amount to anything if I, whatever, you know? And I'm like, if Brandy was told she was too ugly. And okay, Brandy is not ugly. She's like, not, but I'm just saying, but, but when you were young in your junior high, high school time frame, and you're being told you're too ugly to make it, you will never be anything. And then she did make it not more than a couple of years after being told that, like that inspired me as a kid. That's like uh, Shakira, when she was in choir, her choir teacher said she sounded like a goat and that she should just stop singing and give up because her voice was horrible. And now she's like- Shakira, <laughs> no, my hips don't lie. <laughs> I mean, I, she has an original voice. Like, so that's pretty good. Wait, who killed someone? I'm looking it up. Oh, Brandy so was involved in a fatal California car crash. I don't know what L-A-H-A-L-A -L -A is. So in a fatal accident in LA, when she rear-ended the car in front of her, resulting in the death of a 38-year-old woman, she claimed mm. that another driver was at fault and she had to swerve. Um, this was uh, 2007, so maybe that's why she fell off the face of the earth for a little bit. So that that must suck to have to live with that. Like you played a part in someone's death. I have no idea what L A A H. Yeah, that's so why I was just like, am I missing a show? At first, I was like, Little Women, <laughs> Little Women. or Housewives. I have la ha la 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 ha la. la. <laughs> it's like is that the la name of la. child? Oh, there you go, la ha la. That's it. I have no idea. That's anyway. the name of the prince. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but, oh, get the star up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love and hip hop, LA. Oh, la -ha -la. <laughs> I I never watched that. I, I tried and I was just like, no, I'm good. And then and my one of my favorite trashy reality shows, the couples therapy. And then everything I, turned I into like every show on BET. And I was like, okay. Like there wasn't anybody I recognized. And I was like, okay, I'm done. Like, well, do you remember, I think it was like, uh, was it uh, like Bad Girls Club finishing school or something? Uh -huh. Or no. No, no, Rock of Love finishing school, or something like where yeah. like all the rejects from like the stage shows mm -hmm. were like on finishing school, and I think Ray J actually hosted that. I probably, think. and then I know Sharon Osbourne was on it, but anyway. and then he also disappeared. Like I haven't heard of of him in like years and years. <laughs> Who knows? But <laughs> we have derailed. We have fled North Korea so far. We are in uh, Antarctica. <laughs> so let's uh, go back to that with one final question. Do you think this story deserves an actual Hollywoodized movie? Yes, if yeah. they focus on the escape and stuff, yes. Like the ki like just focus on the kidnapping and the escape? Well, I also want to see their time there too, but like this is one thing where if they don't have that much information, I think it'd be okay to Hollywoodize it a bit. You know, to judge it up. It turns maybe into based, like a based possible. on things that they already know, like maybe like um, if they have reports that things have happened to people there, mm -hmm. don't make it happen to those two particular but people, like kind of but show other people going through that, so that in a way you still keep it genuine. Yeah. Oh, and another thing that I forgot to bring up when she was first taken, and she was all like, "I was scared because I didn't know if I was going to be given to Kim Jong." the senior or Kim Jong Un or ill, whatever yeah. his name is. Ill. Ill. And, Ill. <laughs> and I'm like, I, it like literally went right over my head. I didn't even think about that. I was like, okay, you're just going to be like a North Korean actress now, I guess. And that's it. And then I was thinking 
like when she said that, I'm like, I to imagine you're kidnapped and you're just like, I got you a present. And now yeah, you're like, you're like in a giant box. box. <laughs> a giant box with a bow from like Party City. I'm that imagining that tampon dress <laughs> with a bow on top. Do you remember that? The thing when I asked you, um, I asked you if uh, if I came down oh, the aisle. Oh, yeah, yeah, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you were so offended. You're like, why are you even asking me this? <laughs> You're wasting my time. There will be a nice red bow on top to signify purity, I guess. <laughs> My womb is fresh for next month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is ready for her Asian baby. No, 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 no. Pan Islander. Pan Islander? Yeah, Samoan. <laughs> Asuelo is going to be crawling up out of there. I got the coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> the best of the best. There are a team of twins, Asuelo and Tammy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god oh my god anyway okay. do you want to take us out because i'm sure everybody else will or or kim jong-un i mean hey let's take this show on the road and go visit north korea we can all wear our disguises i'll wear my camel black shirt he'll wear his construction vest and lisa will wear her sheet and we'll just do a, our our very first live podcast from the demilitarized zone. We'll sit at the desk right in front of that guard. Well, can I do my robot voice? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Like I'm not doing it. My throat is jacked up. I can't do it. Well, thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. We'll see you on Friday for the new, well, not new, but like, you know, uploaded retelling of Cinderella. It's really unbelievable, but we'll watch it anyway. Re really sell it there, Katie. <laughs> That's no, I'm actually, red -headed, I'm actually... red -headed, uh... Now that would have been a kicker. No. An Asian <laughs> redhead. Technically, <laughs> technically, the Little Mermaid is blonde in the book, but you know. Well, it's Disney. We can change everything up. Exactly. He's an Asian ginger. There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to be watching that on Disney Plus and reviewing it on Friday. So come hang out with us. We'll probably get canceled again. Yep. <laughs> In the meantime, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and ring that little bell down below so you guys get in informed notified notified <laughs> of all new content. I'm like dropping the ball guys. <laughs> and we'll see you next Friday. Bye. Thank you. Careful. <laughs> Sound like a 50 year old smoker. Give him a chase.